Have you ever wondered why kangaroos are only found in Australia? Firstly, kangaroos are not just found in Australia. They are also found in New Guinea, north of Australia. While tea species in New Guinea are actually tree kangaroos, they are still related. But we will answer this question in more detail. Australia and Antarctica broke away from Africa during the time of dinosaurs. This meant the animals on each continent started to differ more greatly with the passage of time. The mammals on the Australian continent including New Guinea, which was joined to Australia developed into marsupials while the mammals on other continents developed into placental mammals. In fact, every placental mammal living in modern-day Australia is not an ancestral native to the continent, they have moved there in the past 40,000 years as a result of human interference. The reason for this is that Australia and New Guinea were separated from the rest of the world by some very large ocean distances. Mammals generally would die before they arrived in Australia. Those mammals that did survive found that they were out or competed by superior animals that were adjusted to the environment. A good example of this is the European rat. The European rat was introduced to Australia when the British set up settlements. But rats stay near cities, they are very difficult to find outside cities. Because of the native marsupial rats are larger, more hardy, and in most ways superior. Back to talk about kangaroo, it bred to be a land animal. It is perfectly adjusted to any environment except water. If you were to ask an Australian if they ever saw a kangaroo swimming they would most likely laugh at such a preposterous idea. Kangaroos can out compete every animal they come into contact with, but they cannot leave the land they evolved on, at least not without human help thus are only found in Australia and New Guinea. Interestingly, if you were to release a mob of kangaroos anywhere in the world then they would probably flourish. Kangaroos can be found in temperate, tropical, subtropical, and even tundra conditions. This is primarily due to their ability to travel huge distances in search of food and water with minimal energy use. That was the story of the kangaroo with Australia. Now I think you have a clearer picture of the life of the kangaroo and the places where he lives. That was everything for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video and share it with your friends. Thanks and see you later. Stay healthy. Goodbye.